Hello, welcome to Maths with J. The method that we're going to use to integrate this function will work for any odd power of sine. So if instead of the 5 we had a 3, 7, 9 and so on, it, that would work as well. OK, so let's have a look at what we're going to do. First of all, without the integral symbol, let's just uh, simplify or rewrite, I should say, really. It's not really going to look simpl simpler to begin with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write sine to the power of 5x as sine to the power of 4x times sine x. But the 4 I'm going to split into squaring twice. So that what we've got here might look much more complicated, but it's going to help us do the integration. So I've rewritten sine x to the power of 5, or should I say sine to the power of 5x, you get what I mean, that sine x is being raised to the power of 5. We're writing that sine squared x squared times sine x. And the reason that we've done that is because we can replace sine squared x in terms of cos squared x. And then you'll see that we can easily make a, a u substitution. So let's just remind ourselves of our really important identity. We know that cos squared x plus sine squared x is 1. Or we could, if we wanted to, instead of write equals 1, put identically equal to 1, because it's true of any value of x. And that means that we can subtract cos squared x from both sides to say that sine squared x is identically equal to, or just equal to, 1 minus cos squared x. So, here, we can say, well, that's going to be 1 minus cos squared x squared times sine x. Right, let's just move our identity out of the way. And then we've got space to multiply this out. So we've got 1 minus cos squared x multiplied by itself, so that's 1 minus 2 lots of cos squared x and then cos squared multiplied by cos squared is going to be cos to the fourth x. So we've got a negative multiplying a negative there giving us a positive and of course not forgetting that we've got sine x there as well. Right so I think we're ready now to um, write down the integral again. So remember we're actually trying to integrate this so the integral of sine to the power of 5x is going to be equal to, well, 1 times sine x first of all, so that's sine x dx. And I'm going to leave that as a separate integral because that's going to be easy to integrate. You know what the integral of sine x is. And then the other part of the integral, I'm going to leave the bracket there, so minus 2 cos squared x plus cos to the 4th x and then we've got the sine x dx outside the bracket there. So now you can see that we've got two distinct integrals to look at. The first one easy to integrate, so let's just uh, leave that one as it is. So what we're going to do is do all the integration at the same time so that we don't get confused as to whether or not we've actually integrated. And the second integral, we've set it up so that it's really easy to use a u substitution. So what we're going to do for that one is we're going to let u be equal to cos x because we know that when we differentiate that we're going to get a multiple of, of sine x. In fact, let's just do that now. So differentiating cos x we get minus sine x. So that means that we can replace Let's remember we've got a minus sign in here, so minus du by, or I should say it the other way around, we can replace sine x dx by minus 1 times du. So now we've got the integral of minus 2 and cos squared x is going to be u squared. Cos to the fourth is u to the fourth. And then we've got our minus 1 in here, du. 
So we've replaced sine x dx by minus 1 du. So let's just sort out that uh, minus, multiply through by that. So this first integral again stays as it was. But here, the only change is multiplying by, well, we need the plus there, don't we? Multiplying by the minus 1. So we've got 2u squared whoops, minus u to the fourth. du. So now we are ready to integrate. So the first integral integrating sine x dx, so that's going to be minus cos x, and then integrating 2u squared, so we will leave the 2, integrate u squared, so we'll get u cubed over 3, and then integrating u to the power of 4 will be u to the 5 over 5, and then remember the constant of integration. So now all we need to do is to replace the u by cos x. So we've got minus cos x plus 2 thirds of cos cubed x minus 1 fifth cos to the 5 x plus c. So the trick there was realizing how we needed to rewrite sine x all to the power of 5 to start with. And of course, realizing that we could use the identity cos squared plus sine squared is 1, subtracting cos squared from both sides to get that sine squared is 1 minus cos squared. And then using a u substitution, apart from the, the, uh, the integral where we were just integrating sine x.